Okay, so I wanted to redo this video. I had done this on a live stream, breaking down Tommy Lauren's Men Are Trash uh, cringe video, um, but it got lost into the ether because I did it on a live stream and I didn't have a backup anywhere. So I wanted to have it on my channel so that it could be easily referenced. <laughs> and so it would be out there forever um, because I just think that this was so, so ridiculous. Um, Tommy is an only child, and due to that, she has a very high level of entitlement that will come through as we listen to her Men Are Trash uh, diatribe. And it's, it is a feminist rant. She likes to think that she is conservative and that she's not a liberal feminist, that is not true. She clearly is a liberal feminist, and that's her mindset. Okay, right off the bat, look at the little condescending smirk that she does. She is so salty. And I believe at the time she made this video, she's 27 years old. So this is not a young lady. This is an older lady. One that is very rapidly approaching the wall. She does the condescending smile, though. What's up? I'm gonna let you guys trickle in before I start talking, because this is important. To who? So. Like, who is this important to besides you? Um, first of all, let's just start out with how she's dressed in this video. Tommy and girls like her. Um, they don't dress modestly, shall we say. And, um, you know, as you'll see throughout the video that we're going to watch in the second video, Tommy thinks very highly of herself. Um, you know, and the funny thing is she thinks she's super accomplished because she's like a pretty face at Fox News. We all know how she got there. It's not like her male counterparts who had to really like put in the work and crawl their way up from the bottom to where they were over a period of years through their intellect and skill and talent, raw talent. All she does is sit there and look pretty and parrot Republican talking points that she herself doesn't even really believe. I'm waiting for you guys to get here. So normally I do final thoughts and I do Instagram lives and I do rants about politics. Um, there's plenty to talk about in politics right now. Do it every day. It's a great time. But something as of recently has been on my mind. And I, wonder why. I consider myself a teacher, why? a helper, um, someone who could possibly inspire people. To why? What makes you think that you are a teacher or a helper? Um, what are your qualifications to be a teacher or a helper? And let's be honest, look at your life situation. <laughs> You're not exactly somebody that is, you know, leading the conservative lifestyle, you know, as a 27 year old unmarried childless woman to be better. So with that, oh, she's going to inspire other people to be better. They need to be more like her. Apparently, she is better, and she's going to inspire you all to do better because you're not doing well enough, apparently. Being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, um, I just, from the male perspective, like, obviously, I am a woman, but I do try to occasionally put myself into the, um, into the, a man's perspective. If I'm a man, I mean, I can't imagine as a man who works hard, a successful man, wanting to come home to that. You know, the, the first thing out of her mouth is to all those men out there and all those boys who think that they're men. So she immediately is emasculating men. Um, it's just so unpleasant. 
this is going to be the summer of canceling boys. Now, from my own personal experiences and the experiences of all of my friends, which range in age from 24 to 36, we've all got issues. Yeah, I bet you do. Um, so, you know, she says this is going to be the summer of what she calls canceling boys. And I presume by boys, she is saying men who disagree with her. So she's, if you disagree with her, she's going to emasculate you and say, you're not a real man. You're a boy. Or if you don't meet her so-called standards, she, she claims she has standards, bro. Um, then you're also a boy and you're not a real man. I wonder how she would feel if a man told her that she was a girl and not a real woman. I don't think she'd take very well to it. And then notice what she says, me and my friends have all these problems with men or how she calls them boys. And then she gives this age range of 24 through 36 years old. So I wonder what kind of women that she's hanging out with, first of all, because um, I think I have a pretty good idea. I think they're all women like her. They're women like herself. And again, if you're a 36-year-old woman and you're having problems with men, I have to say, have you ever considered that you are the reason for that, that you're the problem? If you're 36 years old, and you can't get a man, or you're picking the wrong men, isn't that a you problem? Now, I will also say this. All of my friends are attractive. All of my friends are successful. All of my friends have something going on. Um, what does that mean? And again, why would a man care about your friends being successful or having things going on? And by the way, I want people to note how bitter she is, how salty she is about younger women, okay? she When she says she, her and her friends are successful, I want you to note what she is not saying. She is not saying me and my friends are ready to get married and raise a family. Or my friends are sweet, loving, caring, agreeable. No, no, no. She says successful and they have something going on. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. And... I wonder why. You have to start looking at that and thinking... If an age range of that many people, including myself, living really all over the country and being blonde, brunette, short hair, long hair, I mean, tan, super white, super I mean, these women range in every... Notice how she's talking about what they look like, not their personality. So she's shallow as hell, like that that's what should matter. Like they have blonde hair and they have like a tan or something or, or a good body. Like should, there's nothing here that isn't shallow. And since she is shallow and we can glean that from listening to her, you know that she has other friends who are that look and act like her. That's what she's talking about. And so it's She's thinking that, oh, since me and my friends who are all just like me are having problems with men, then men must be the problem. Wrong. That's a failure on your part to self-reflect about what kind of person you and your friends are. Body type and every everything. They're all successful. They're all intelligent. They're all good people. Right. And here's another thing. I don't necessarily believe that all of her friends are six, super successful and intelligent. I don't think she's that intelligent. I don't think that there's anything particularly special about her. I don't think there's anything unique about uh, parroting Republican talking points. And by the way, this is somebody who is a feminist liberal. She's pro-abortion. There are a number of things that she said that indicate she's not actually conservative. She is a pretty face that goes on Fox News and parrots Republican talking points, but there's nothing of substance there. There is no unique thoughts on politics. 
Repeating talking points isn't talent. Anyone could do that. Joe Biden could do that. Give him a teleprompter and he could do the same thing, Tommy. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you. It might be men. That was your problem, though, because it, it's not men, Tommy. It's you. And it's the men that you're choosing to go after, isn't it? And the men that your friends are choosing to go after. It might be men. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. I talked to my mom about this a lot, and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. Maybe it's just the guys... Just the guys... Um, it is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. And the there she goes. I think they're trash all over this country. Blanket statement. All men are trash all over the country. And by the way, how would she know? Is she dating men all over the country? And if so, what does that say about her? It, it begs the question, right? Is she really riding that carousel and then is confused about why perhaps a man doesn't think she has much to offer? The age range of about 20 to I think about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. A lot of men don't know how to treat women. A lot of men don't know how to really, quite frankly, pull their heads out of the sand and pay attention. So give me attention, entertain me. I mean, do you hear this sort of like me, me, me talk, this self-absorbed nonsense? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think that there's anything attractive about this. Um, and I have to ask myself also, what I think she's, I think that this, she's at the epiphany phase, and I think that's what's happening with her. This is a woman who is entering the epiphany phase. So oh, I am going to help you. And these are some of the things that... Oh, she's going to help you, man. Listen up. You need to listen to her because apparently she's that smart. She knows better, despite the fact that she clearly doesn't have success with men. But she's going to give men advice. Okay. I've experienced, and these are some of the things my friends have experienced. I Again, I'm just going to lay a few things out. They haven't all happened to me. Some of them have just happened to my friends. A lot of them have happened to me. So sure. the first thing, and I've made notes... By the way, I've made notes. This of course she has. She's made a nag list. She... God. Women like this, I swear. Uh, if I were a man and I had to live with a woman like this, if I had to be married to a woman like this, I think that at night I'd go into the garage and put a revolver into my mouth and play a Russian roulette. This is how invested I am in this because I've been thinking about this for about two weeks solid now. Oh, we got an expert. She thought. Well, that was your first mistake, Tommy. You're not very good at it. She thought for two weeks. So she's a real expert on the subject matter. She spent all of two weeks thinking about something. And it's still a very shallow perspective, devoid of any self-reflection whatsoever. First question for men. If you like a girl, if you're even somewhat interested in a girl, you need to ask yourself this question. Are you single? No, I don't mean are you kind of single, seeing five people, dating somebody, still kind of in a relationship, kind of broken up, kind of on again, off again, kind of married, kind of divorced. Are you actually single, single? Okay, but that's something that applies to not just men, though. I would say that that applies to women as well. Um, she's just so combative. She is so bossy. The condescending, arrogant tone of voice she has. She is loud. She is um, bitter. She's frustrated sounding. You know, like, why would anyone list, want to listen to this loud, angry, bitter, and egotistical woman? Okay? That's the first, you know, well, I don't know how many things we're at now, but that is just so awful. And so when she says, you know, make sure that you're actually single, this is coming from a woman who you know damn well has beta orbiters and simps constantly DMing her. 
and I and you know she likes it. She loves that attention. She's going to pretend like she doesn't, but you know she does. So she is expecting um, this sort of uh, commitment and exclusivity from a top 10% man, right? A high status man. She is demanding commitment and exclusivity. And she also will say in this that she does not want to pursue a man, but you know she maintains orbiters and white knights. That means single. You have nobody. You have no complications. You have no attachments. You are actually single. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. And ladies, you should be asking it because in 2020, it's not a given anymore that a guy that's actively pursuing you is actually single. But it's the same for men when they're pursuing women. Women are always spinning plates. The women that she is talking about, her so-called friends, you know that that's what's going on. Women are never single. I'm, this is the thing that bothers me the most is this. She knows it, too. She knows it. These women are always spinning plates. They're never single. They're always looking to monkey branch to a higher status male. They're always willing to talk to them. If a richer, more successful man slides into her DMs, you think she's going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a committed relationship. You know damn well that's not true. This is just how these women are. So this is what she's saying. While it does have some validity, this is not something that is exclusive to men. I actually see that as more of a question with women because I think that women are never actually single or they're never actually, they're always having their options open. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing, that I think is very important, that men don't seem to understand. There are very few women out there, and I'm speaking from personal experience as well as from all of my friends and all the women, quite frankly, that I talk to. There is not a woman out there that wants to be your pen pal. She doesn't want to get your texts, your good morning texts, your good night texts, your random through the day texts, if they don't follow up with a plan. I don't believe that for a minute. The women, it's, and I especially think women like her and her so-called friends, they love male attention. Are you kidding me? They love it. I. She has a point in that if you're going to be talking to somebody online, because that's primarily how things are happening now, she wants a man to, again, once again, commit to making plans with her. Why should he if he has options and, and he doesn't have to, I mean, that's the thing. Like, it sort of seems like she's in this distorted reality where she thinks that she is a 10. She thinks that she has more to offer a successful man than she actually does. And she seems to think that that is money and success. And this is somebody who maybe has a couple million dollars. She's not that wealthy, but she is going after the top 10% of men. And so are her friends, by the way, because they're exactly like her. And so she says that the top 10% of men she and her friends go after, what she's basically saying is that these men have options and she doesn't like that. However, the other 90% of men are invisible to her and her friends. To actually, here's the kicker, in person, hang out. Now I know what you're saying, oh, it's COVID, people can't hang out in person. This has not been a four month problem. This has been a five year problem that I've experienced with men and my friends have experienced with men. But this is also a problem with women too. They'll talk to tons of men. They'll have these orbiters in their DMs. They will talk, 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 but they have no intention of ever meeting this man in person or ever going on a real date with him. And in fact, if they do, they'll go out on a date they'll have the man buy them drinks and dinner and then they'll never talk to them again and that happens to men all the time all the time women do not want a pen pal we don't want a texting pal we quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't that. text us at all if you're not going to make a plan yes you do care you yes you do i don't believe it for a second women like this and most women generally speaking love male attention they want a man who's going to 
shower them with attention because it shows that the man is thinking about you. That's what they want. So she's lying when she says it. I do not believe her when she says, I don't want somebody that's just going to text me. She does. Yes, she does. She does want a man who's going to show her attention. Women love that. Plan to actually see us in person, not interested. And if you do have a woman out there that just wants to be your pen pal, it's probably because she has a boyfriend or a husband or a wife or whatever. We don't want a pen pal. But that also leads me to my second point. And this is gonna be backwards for you guys. Make plans. Make a plan. You know Listen to her slapping her notepad on the table. She is so mad. She's so ass mad right now. <laughs> Whoever hurt her, she is ass mad. And I think I know what happened and we'll get into that in a little bit. But, you know, this make a plan thing. Again, why would a man... Th th what these women hate, and these are the same women who wanted equality for women, that wanted the sexual liberation and the sexual revolution, and they wanted equality to men. What they don't like is the fact that men don't want anything to do with these women nowadays. Men aren't even interested in dating women because they don't have to, first of all. And second of all, it, these women are highly unpleasant. And I think what's happening is, you know, you're a young man, the, you go out with a woman like that who's incredibly irritating um, and not pleasant to be around. Why would you want to continue to go on dates with these women? That's the thing. They don't need to, they don't have to. There are so many reasons why men are walking away from women. They're not interested in committing to you guys anymore. They're not interested in dating. There's a reason for that. It's called a mirror. Look in it, Tommy, and your friends would do well to do the same. Do not assume that you can text somebody randomly in the middle of the day, what are you doing? Or text them at midnight or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Oh, please, You know, let, let, first of all, <laughs> Let's ask the question and let's ponder this as we go through this video. How many times do you think when Chad has texted Tommy at two o'clock in the morning, this bitch has gotten up out of bed, thrown on her makeup and gone over there for a pump and dump? You know that that's happened and you know her friends have all done that. So yeah, why is a man going to take you out to dinner and take you out on dates when he can just text you at one o'clock in the morning for a booty call? Because you guys have no self-respect. And you know that a lot of these young women will totally do that for a Chad. They won't do it for um, a guy that isn't in the top percent. But if it's a top percent dude, these women are willing to throw their so-called standards into the wind you know, to jump when Chad wants them to. Or even just within hours of when you actually want to see them and think that they're going to be available. I personally, once I get home and I take my makeup off and I'm watching TV, I'm no longer interested. So if you didn't make a plan earlier in the day or better yet, Unless a day Chad. or two or three in advance, I'm not interested. I don't want to hang out anymore because that ship has sailed. Make a plan. I want to hang out with you at this time. It doesn't have to even be a date. I want to see you at this time. Are you free at this time? Or when are you free? I will accommodate my schedule to see you. Okay, so I, in a way, understand what she is saying when she says that people should give notice in advance, make a plan, and stick with it. But that is not just something that is an issue with men. Women are incredibly flaky also. When are you free? I want to see you. I know it's not rocket science, but men of 2020, it seems like it's pretty difficult for you to figure out. And I'm not a feminist, so please don't yes, take this are. as a feminist rant. It I is. You are and it is. And look at her defensive body language. This is such a cope. This isn't a feminist rant. I'm not a feminist. Yes, you are. L listen to yourself and look in the mirror. Yes, you are. Stop coping. I love men. I think men are great. I think men have failed themselves and they failed us. And I'm just trying to help you out because I think there are a lot of really great guys out there who need a little help. You just need to listen to her and do what she wants. Duh. <laughs> That's what she's really saying. Why doesn't Chad want me? Why doesn't he pursue me if he would just do what I want? I mean, ugh. 
Oh my goodness. Again, nothing that she is talking about is, is a problem exclusive to men. It is a problem generally in the modern dating world. It is a modernity problem. And I don't think that there are a lot of women that are stepping up and saying these things and not FaceTime me, I swear to God. Quite frankly, I don't think that there are a lot of women that aren't raging feminists that don't look like Lena Dunham. They're you are a raging feminist, though. It doesn't matter how you look, Tommy. Your looks doesn't change your ideology and your worldview, okay? They're saying these things to you, so I'm going to go ahead and say them because they need to be said. I am really so sick of my friends having to deal with trash men. I am tired of dealing with trash men, so I'm going to help. Why don't you stop going after trash men, then? Why don't you pick better men? There are good men out there. It's just that they don't meet your standards that are impossible for anybody to meet. That's the thing. Your standards are so delusional. They're so uh, out of touch with reality. You're going after trash men. Like, do you not see that? And then you're complaining about it, and yet you do it repeatedly. There are good men out there. They're just invisible to you because they don't meet your arbitrary, always changing standards. Help you out. Make plans. So let's go through these lists again because I know y'all love a list. Number one, are you single? Number two, make a plan. Nobody wants a pen pal. We want to actually see you. If not, don't text us because it's a waste of our time and we don't want to see it on our phones. Got it? All right. Next thing. Value. Value. Here's where it gets even funnier. What, what makes you think you have value to a successful man? Listen to what she will say. This value value thing, this is where she really goes off the rails. And you can tell that she made certain life decisions. She chose to be an ambitious career woman over having a family and finding a husband when she was young and in her 20s before she was this bitter husk that she currently is. She chose to put that first. And she thinks that that makes her valuable. If she was a man, maybe that would make her valuable. But men aren't looking for a financial provider. They don't need that. So what value is that to a man? Okay, value, value. Take that in. Just repeat it to yourself until it makes sense. Okay. If you want to date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends who have something going on with your other girls that have nothing going on. And She's so salty about younger girls that she claims have nothing going on. But Tommy, she first of all, Tommy is so obnoxious and difficult. I could not imagine coming home to her fucking nag lists every single day. And did you take out the trash? Um, a man doesn't need a woman with a career to take care of him. A man leads his family and he leads the woman. The woman should be um, submissive to the man. What are you talking about? This value value thing. High value career driven men don't need or want your ambition and money. And by the way, women don't share their money with men anyways. They'll take your money and they'll expect you to share all of your resources and funds with them. But women like Tommy, you think she's going to share her money with a man? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. And by nothing going on, I mean this. I don't, there is no job that is unimportant. There is no job that's not valuable or that's not worthy, it is. But if you wanna mix in people like me and people like my friends who are go-getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, and- Work really hard by what? Being a plastic Barbie doll pretty face trotted out on Fox News to parrot talking points? Oh, that sounds really hard, Tommy. Ambitious. Please don't mix us in with the Tatianas. We don't want to be there. If that's what you and want- Just listen to how disrespectful she is, not only to men, but women who she deems as, like, less successful to her. She calls them Tatianas, like their thoughts or something. Like an e-girl or something like that. 
despite the fact that this is a woman, if you look at her Instagram page, she is constantly posting thirst trap thought material. Like, what are you talking about, Tommy? You post yourself nude wrapped in an American flag on the internet. Like, you, you want to call other women Tatianas? Your entire job is you looking cute parroting talking points for boomer conservatives so they can simp over you uh and throw beta bucks at you that's literally what you do for a living but you want to call young women who might not have as much money as you and, and maybe aren't obsessed with being an ambitious career woman. You want to call them Tatiana's. She is just so disrespectful and she is so salty about younger women because the kind of men that she thinks she's entitled to and she does think she's entitled to them, the top 10% of men, high value, wealthy, successful men aren't interested in her. They are going after and they're going for these younger women that are in their early 20s, women who are still fertile, women who can still have families and be a mother, someone who can be nurturing and take care of a man and have time to spend to him, who can be devoted to a man and adore and admire him and look up to him and allow him to lead her. Tommy would never treat a man that way and she would never allow a man to lead her. Want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them because we don't want to be there. Well, Tommy, they're not. They're not interested in you and that's what this, ent that's what this entire rant is about. Chad isn't interested in you. That's why, why you're upset. And quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have nothing going on. Oh, right. She's insulted. She can have options. She can have beta orbiters in her DMs, but she expects the top 10% high value man to be committed to her and exclusive to her. And if you have options like successful men do, that enrages her. She wants you to simp for her and be a beta orbiter. But then again, she was engaged to a beta orbiter and she dumped him. People like me and my friends are gonna be insulted by that. And there's almost really no coming back from it. So if you want that kind of a girl, the kind of girl who's just kind of happy going through the motions of life, not really super ambitious, hasn't really found herself yet, doesn't really have a whole lot going on other than- So if this is what she's basically saying is if you're not some careerist like her, you don't have a lot going on. You haven't found yourself. Why wouldn't a high value man be interested in a young woman who is happy, as she said, that isn't ambitious and careerist? He doesn't need an ambitious careerist woman. He's already wealthy and successful. Why does he need an ambitious, career driven, uh, shrill creature like yourself? Why would he want that? He would want a younger woman or a woman that has less baggage, a woman who has time to devote to him so she can be devoted to him, who has the time to take care of him when he comes home. You know, that's what's appealing to a man, uh, a woman that is agreeable, that's a good companion, that is good company, that's pleasant to be around, that is cooperative. Why on earth would a successful, wealthy man want a woman like you or your friends then she's pretty please just go after them and please do not mix us in they are and that's why you're salty they are going after these younger women that are more pleasant and much nicer to be around and that is why you are upset because the men you think you're entitled to aren't interested in you and your friends because you don't have anything of value to offer them we don't want to be there I promise you. So yeah, value okay. value. There's a lot of women out there that I That again depends on what is valuable to a high status male. They don't see a careerist, shrill, loud, abrasive woman like yourself as valuable. That's not valuable to them. To them, something someone that is valuable is a young lady that is respectful that is nice, that is pleasant to be around, that is positive and sweet and caring and nurturing. There, it, it, Like, what is she thinking? I don't understand. 
this inability to look at yourself and recognize like what men are interested in why i don't know what she's thinking here of thinking that a wealthy man would need a woman that is ambitious career driven and has money they don't need that that isn't value to them why would they want to date themselves that's what she's offering them is a, a female version of themselves why would they be attracted to that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy, even if they go up in age five to 10 to 15 years, because those guys all want to be with 21 year olds who have nothing going on. No, 21 year olds who are nice to talk to, who are pleasant to be around, who aren't, who doesn't, don't have all their time wrapped up in chasing a career and money and it being ambitious. You know, and this is what she's really upset about is she's only interested in the top 10% of men and they aren't interested in her and her friends and she is salty about it. Tommy, you might not know this, but your market value diminishes as you age. You're already in your late 20s. It's going to continue to diminish, but that's not the case for men. It's very unfortunate. I don't think it's going to be fulfilling. But I would say to the men out there, why not? Of maybe find a woman that you can talk to. Can they can talk to these women because they aren't combative, loud, bitter, and angry, and shrill like you. I would much rather, if I was a man, talk to a young 21-year-old girl that is a uh, fun, sweet, pleasant, caring, you know, that appreciates me and admires me and, and treats me with respect and dignity. Why would you want to be with an ambitious career woman who emasculates you and wants to stomp on your dick every night? Communicate with, might actually have her shit together, might actually be ambitious and have something going on or want to have something going on. I don't care what she does. She doesn't have to be on TV. She doesn't have to be a PhD. She doesn't have to be a television producer. She doesn't have to own her own company, but be ambitious and have something going on. Those women are out there. No, but they're not interested in that. Wealthy, successful, top earning men don't need that, Tommy. That's not something of value that you can offer them or that they're interested in. They don't need that. Why should they? And who are you to tell women that they don't have anything going on if they're a sweet girl? that, you know, maybe has a minimum wage job, but is a good girl, would be loyal to a man and, and treat him right. How dare you say that girl has nothing going on? Are gonna be a lot more fulfilling to you. You're actually gonna enjoy your time. And if you actually might want a sustainable and healthy and stable relationship, that's probably- Oh, I don't think you've had many of those. You're an unmarried 27 year old childless woman, Tommy the kind of girl you're gonna need to find no not the tatianas who just want to look cute and post instagram stories now i love a good instagram that's all you do tommy you just look cute post instagram stories and parrot talking points on fox news look in the mirror story y'all know i do i love a good boomerang i love a good whatever but if that's all you this do is such a cope men if that's all she does probably Houston, we have a problem. Why don't you like me? Like, that's basically what she's saying. You know, her standards are too high. She has a horrible attitude, a horrible character. She is bitter and frustrated. And quite frankly, I think she needs therapy. I'm just gonna let you in on a little tip. The next thing on my list is this, consistency. It really does not help me or my friends or any woman in general if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them and then give it three, four, five days and all of a sudden you're not consistent anymore. You oh, so after they get to know you and they realize how insane you are, the <laughs> like that's what's happening. Have you guys given thought to that? That maybe, you know, a man's really interested in you at first and then over time after a couple weeks, he starts to get to know you and find you incredibly unpleasant. And maybe that's why they're not being quote unquote consistent. Maybe it's you. You don't make plans. You don't really care. You kind of fade in and out. You're talking to five other Tatianas. 
Consistency is important. Now, if you want to be inconsistent and you want to ghost and you want to fall off the radar, that's fine, but I'm going to give you a pro tip. People like me and people like my friends, we aren't going to really give a shit after that. We don't really care. The Fs have been given. And I don't believe that that's true, first of all. But second of all, why they don't care. These men don't care. Why do you think that they do? They're not interested in you, Tommy. They don't care about what you and your friends want because they're not interested. And we're kind of done. I'll tell you this from personal experience. Once I'm no, turned off- Tommy, they're done with you. Once they get to see you and your friends shrill, uh, horrible attitude, your nag, 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 they don't want, they're not interested in you and they don't care anymore. It's not the other way around. I am turned off and I don't care anymore. Because at oh, one point, please. I yes, probably did care. At one point, my friends, they probably did care. They probably did like you because you expressed interest and maybe you were cool. Is that why you made a 15 minute cope video about it? Because you don't care and you're so above it all? Please. Well, maybe you were kind of fun to hang out with, but if you're not consistent and you fall off the radar, I give you maybe one to two chances to fix that because I'm a very direct communicator. Women, this is important. I will communicate to you. If your communication isn't great, I will let you know that. I will let you know that more effort is needed. <laughs> She'll tell you that you have to meet her high standards that no one can meet. She's going to police your behavior. Who would want anything to do with that? If she says, oh, you're not communicating well, you need to do better. Like, honestly, why would anyone be attracted to that? But if you don't heed that warning and I have to warn you twice. Oh, she's going to warn you. You better do what I say. I'm done at that point because I don't really care anymore. Now I'm done. Now I don't care. Maybe that's why you can't have a, you haven't had a successful long-term relationship with a man and you're unmarried and childless at your age. Maybe it's because you treat men like they are disposable. If they don't cater to your every whim and adjust their behavior accordingly when you give them a warning because you want to boss them around, Maybe that's on you. She's probably, and I will say this, for people who think that they should have sympathy for this woman or think that she's a uh, somehow a good person because you're a simp, a simp for her or something, listen to how she talks about men. If she gives you a warning and says, you need to do better, you need to act this way, you need to do this, you need to do that to please me and entertain me, and the man doesn't do that, she's, she throws him out like he's disposable, like he means nothing. They don't, these women don't value men, but they're mad when men don't value them back. Look at how she treats men. You do one thing wrong she doesn't like if she has to warn you and you do it again, she's going to say you're disposable. Why would anyone want to commit to somebody like this? And I know my friends who are watching this are thinking and saying the same thing because we have these conversations on an almost daily basis. Once you turn us off, we don't care anymore. So let that be a warning because to you. Because you're shallow. You're probably not going to circle back. They always come back. They always come back. But when you're ready to come back, I probably don't care anymore. So if you want to switch up. I doubt that's happening. I don't think they always come back. Stay there. Pro tip. My last thing on my list is also very important. Don't be, excuse my language, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. What does that even if mean? You what does that even mean? You have then failed and you lost a woman of value like myself or my friends. And then you're, you're not a woman of value. You don't have anything of value to offer a successful, wealthy man. And we don't really care anymore. Don't be a bitch. Don't be butt hurt. You did it to yourself. Okay. This is full on projection. She's the one that's butt hurt. She's ass mad because Chad pumped and dumped her and now she's making a 15 minute video blaming all men and calling all men trash and it's no longer my problem now it's become a personal problem of yours so don't be a bitch and by the way if i'm no longer interested because your effort is shitty that's not me being a bitch that's not me being difficult yes, that's me is. having a standard in which oh I an unrealistic standard that no one can meet i expect from people I do have high standards and high expectations. My friends have high standards and high expectations. Yeah, and that's why you're all single from ages 24 through 36, as you made very clear 
in the opening of this video. It's why you're all single. It's why you can't get a man. And as you continue to do diminish, as you continue to hit the wall, your looks are going to fade and you have nothing else to offer anybody. You don't have a nice personality. You're not that smart. You, I don't see many talents from you. You're not a good conversationalist. You're not pleasant to be around. Like, why, what do you think that you have to offer anybody? It's why you guys are still single. And you know what? She'll probably end up with a beta, a beta bucks. Do you want to know why? We've worked for those, okay? We work hard. We're successful. We take care of ourselves. We try to look cute. That doesn't mean you're entitled to a successful, high-status man. Just because you've decided to try to emulate a man and be a man, that doesn't mean you're entitled to a man. We have a, a desire to be something more each day, okay? That's why we have the ability to be somewhat what you call difficult. It's not difficult. We just have a baseline standard. No, it is difficult, and your standards are out of control. They're out of touch with reality. It's why no man can meet these standards, or they're just not interested in it because the juice isn't worth the squeeze, Tommy. And if you can't meet that standard, that's okay. A lot of men cannot. But if you are one of those men out there, and I, I have them all over my DMs, sometimes I check them, and you guys are like, what would it take to be with someone like you? What would it take- Oh yeah, her beta orbiters that she claims she doesn't have, all of her options, her spinning plates, which she uh, got down on men for having and for men to do it. It's she can do it, but you better not be doing it. It's just ridiculous, guys. It's absurd. To be with your friends. What are girls like you, what are they looking for? I laid them out for you very simply there. In order to have a shot with a girl like me or girls like my friends, girls that are worth a damn, you don't really have to be Brad Pitt. Yes, you, you don't do. have to be famous. You don't even really have to make a lot of yes, money you do. or have a really fantastic job. Sure you, do. you just have to be determined. You have to be in some way successful in that you want to attain some certain kind of success for yourself. You're driven, you have goals, you can handle a woman with standards. That's not going to turn you- Handle a woman with standards? She means a difficult, uh, you know, ball busting bitch. Off, and you're going to put in the effort to be put with somebody like myself or my friends. We deserve that. No, you don't. And we will not you're compromise not entitled our standards. To it. Yes, you I will. I tell you this. It will be a cold day in hell when I chase a man. And I know that's Good. the same thing for my friends as well. And if my friends I'm sure are men everywhere are rejoicing. They're like, thank God this walking red flag won't pursue me. But you know she will. If it's a Chad, she's going to pursue him. And she's ass mad that he's not interested. They're listening and they're thinking about chasing a man. Please, for the love of God, do not. Because there is not, not one single man on planet earth okay that is worth making any woman feel like she is not good enough i don't care how hot a girl is how smart how successful how rich we have all dealt with men how many men have you totally ignored how many men are invisible to you and your friends and how many men have you made feel aren't good enough who treat us like we are not good enough. No, the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it. <laughs> oh yeah, so Such a those are my we're just too successful and intelligent and men are just can't handle it. Right, This these same women tell themselves that men are intimidated by them and they're just scared to approach them and, and that's why people just, no, that's such a cope. This is so cringy. Checklists again, I will go through them for you one more time and case don't bother. Uh, I think that we've heard enough. This woman is incredibly abrasive, shrill, controlling, bossy, demeaning, angry, bitter, arrogant. And by the way, she had a man that she was engaged to. This fiance, his name is Brandon Fick. Um, he used to be some athlete or something, so he made a couple million dollars, not incredibly wealthy, but, um, you know, he, he bought her a $50,000 ring and she broke off their engagement because she felt like she wasn't ready to settle down. And, you know, she got pumped and dumped by Chad and now she's ass mad. 
because she left a good man who treated her right. He, to be fair, this man was a um, a beta orbiter. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, the way that these two got together, uh, he was like a beta orbiter, like white knight that slid into her DMs when like Glenn Beck made fun of her. And he's like, oh, you know, just... Uh, just keep going, you know, you're a great girl. And so I think they ended up going out on a date or something and then they got engaged. And the rumors are is that she cheated on him with a country music star. So she's just so hypocritical, by the way, of like, man, you better be single. Like, okay, <laughs> I think we all know what happened with you and your fiance. But anyways, um, yeah. Just ridiculous. And then she says to him, I guess you're stuck with me. If a woman ever says that to you, run. You're not stuck with her. Like, that's such a, an arrogant thing to say to a man. Um, good lord. Yeah, so she had that nice ring. She dumps this guy. For what? Yeah, okay, Fick wrote on Instagram that he first sent her a DM, slid into her DMs, urging her to stay strong like the beta orbiter white knight he was after she was criticized by Glenn Beck. He invited her to dinner, though she never responded. It took them uh, the two eventually met in person nine months later. Nine months of him simping for her in the DMs to, in order to get a date with this woman, and look how she treated him. And this is a man who... Got her this nice, uh, this nice $50,000 ring. This is a guy that was successful. You know, he probably has a really good body. He was an athlete. He was running for Congress and still wasn't enough for her. So when she says things like, you don't have to be Brad Pitt. You don't have to be incredibly wealthy. That's a lie. <laughs> you know, that is a lie. She's just an awful human being. My goodness. And nobody can stand her. So she then does this sort of like part two because she took so much heat for it where she tries to sort of like, she tries to backtrack, but then she also like doubles and triples down. And again, doing that condescending smile. I'm going to include the links to everything in the video description. I don't want this to be too long. Um, I'm not going to watch all of this, but I just want to play some of it because it's, she's so awful. Oh, waiting for you all to just join on in here. Some of you, I probably will answer some questions uh, later on, but I have some things I need to go through first. <laughs> All right, so for those of you the other night, I believe it was Monday night, who watched my PSA for Boyish Men, um, it has since gained a little bit of traction. Uh, I also posted it on Facebook, and I think it's sitting at about 1.5 million views right now. So obviously, it picked up a little bit of talk, a little bit of chatter, uh, a few haters, which is okay. Haters. Not like... If you disagree with her and her insanity, you're just a hater. I'm not used to that. I'm very used to it. But I did want to clear a few things up about that video and just expand on it a little bit because that's always important. You can't ever say everything you want to say in 15 minutes. And I've heard a lot of comments on it, a lot of praise, a lot of criticism. So I figured I'd just go through some of them if y'all are ready. All right. So first of all, the, some of the, the misperceptions and misconceptions about some of the things I said in that video that I want to go through real quick. First and foremost, okay, <laughs> I don't think all men are trash. Yes, you do. And I also want to, again, reiterate that- You literally said all men all over the country were trash. Distinction that I made between boys and men. There is a big difference between boys and men. And I'm not talking about an age difference. I'm talking about a mentality difference. If you are a man and you watch that and you thought that I was calling you trash, I will apologize for that because I don't think all men are trash. I don't think any men are trash at all. I think that some boys who think that they are men have a tendency, shall we say, in 2020 to not quite act the right way. And not do what we want and do what we say. And if you disagree with her, you're a boy, not a man. She's going to emasculate you. Once again, 
emasculating men if they didn't like what she said. I'm not saying that girls act the right way, mind you. Okay, this is an equal opportunity situation here, but I'm not a dude, in case you haven't noticed. I don't identify as a dude, I'm not a dude. So for me to do a video- I don't know, you act a lot like a man to me. I mean, you're not very feminine. <laughs> there's, you're not a mother, you're not nurturing, like there's nothing really feminine about you. You seem to act like a man, so I don't know. About how crappy women are in the dating scene, I really don't think I could offer you that much knowledge on it because I've never dated a girl yet, okay? So... Yet, but she she might get there when, you know, she's run through all the men that she treats as disposable. You know, she, we're watching her become progressive anyways, like, over time. She probably already is, but she just gets paid a lot of money to, like, look cute on Fox News and parrot, like, talking points she doesn't even believe. She's gonna come out as, like, a lesbian next. I can't help you there. I'm not saying that girls are perfect and men are awful or boys are <laughs> awful. I'm not saying that, never would say that. I'm sure that there are many horrible girls out there that do many horrible things. I myself am not perfect. I acknowledge that. I'm happy to acknowledge it. So I wanted to clear that up. Oh, men, sure. I don't think you're trash. I happen to quite like men and uh, especially real men who act like men and who treat women. Especially rich, wealthy, successful men who are willing to do what I say the right way. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but I want to clear up uh, some other uh, misperceptions about the video, things that maybe you guys were confused about, so I can help you out. It was not in any way, shape, or form about my ex-fiance, okay? My ex-fiance is a saint. My ex-fiance is a great individual. A gr and yet you dumped him anyways great man and the woman that ends up with him is going to be incredibly lucky because all the things that i bitched about in that video he didn't do any of those things he's a great guy so i want to know chad who you dumped him for did and that's what you're ass mad about because you got pumped and dumped after you know d having the good man who treated you right who got you this nice beautiful ring and you dumped him and you treated him like he was disposable. Clear that up. It wasn't me being scorned about a broken off engagement. It wasn't me being scorned about a bad breakup. I oh, haven't please. dated anybody in months. So it wasn't about that. No, but you've been pumped and dumped. We all know it. And it wasn't about my ex fiance. So I want to clear that up. If he's watching or his friends are watching, not about him. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I thought was <laughs> kind of weird, because I read some media headlines about it, was that my video the other night was homophobic. You're going to have to explain that to me, how that video was homophobic. I don't think it was homophobic in the least. I can't even wrap my mind around how anyone say it was homophobic. That makes no sense to me. So if anybody got that impression, um, maybe rewatch it, because it certainly wasn't homophobic. But I Look at the attitude on this uh, boss bitch, bad bitch, boss girl. Like, <laughs> look at the attitude on her. I also want to talk a little bit about a couple of the responses that I got. And once again, kind of just reinforcing my point here. So the kind of responses that I got from at least people that I know, males that I know, were, were two. First of all, most of the guys in my life... They either thought it was about them and it wasn't, and they apologized and they didn't need to, or I had friends of mine that I've never dated who are just dudes who messaged me and said, hey, this actually really helped me out because it's a jungle out there. And <laughs> I feel sorry for those beta orbiters. Sometimes men don't know how to act. They don't know what <laughs> women want. They don't understand what they're doing wrong, which was the whole what point of my video. Wrong. It wasn't to give men a guideline of things they already knew. It was to help you out in case there's and things you didn't okay maybe <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't think so tommy i think you were ass mad about some stuff and i think you did a lot of projection there i don't know just <laughs> just saying men don't know that we like plans to be made maybe men don't know that consistency is important maybe men don't know that it's nice to be valued for what you bring to the table maybe you don't bring anything to the table for a wealthy successful man they don't care about your fucking ambition and your money you don't bring anything to the table you are a cute girl but your looks are going to quickly fade and once they do what else do you have to offer Maybe some men don't know those things. Oh Maybe they don't God. know how important communication is. Men and women think differently. Totally understand that. So I got a lot of men that I know who are great guys 
who honestly messaged me and said, hey, this is helpful. It's nice to know how women think. It's nice to know how you and your friends think. No, I like no. you. I think you're a cool chick. So that's not how women think. That's how insane, nasty women think. Not all women are like that. It was great pointers. And that again, reinforces my point. That is the difference between a man and a boy. The oh, if you agree with her, that's the difference between a man or a boy. If you disagree, she's going to emasculate you. You're not a real man. The, the audacity of her. Men in my life that I've dated, met, gone out with, or I'm just friends with, they were really, they either laughed, they thought it was funny, or they were like, hey, cool, thanks for the heads up, okay? That's a man. And then uh, I got the other response. No, it's a beta, and it's why you're not fucking any of them. Because, like, let's just be real. That isn't a man response. That's not a masculine response. Most real men looked at that and thought you were disgusting is from boys and i don't know a whole lot of boys by the way but there were some boys that like to creep through twitter um some with blue check marks some that are in bum f wherever and don't whatever that just wanted to make a comment um and their responses were tommy is bashing men tommy hates men she does we're not she your was. fan anymore because you hate men that is a boy response. No, it's because not. Because a true man would know that the things that I said probably didn't apply to them. And if they, if some of those things did apply to them, they were like, hey, let me make it better. <laughs> let me just change and become, you know, a total simp for her. No, no. You are so ridiculous. I, I just cannot imagine wanting to come home to this. She's so horrendous. So if men want to make a video and be like, hey, girls, this is what I think you're doing wrong. By all means, please do it. I will be a viewer. All right. Yeah, right. Just throwing that out there. But yes. So to all the, those, especially on Twitter, because Twitter is the most vile place um, that had to had something to say about how, oh, mo, she's not a conservative. She's not. You aren't, Tommy. You're pro-abortion. You don't have a family. You don't have children. You are unmarried. You are not, by any stretch of the imagination, a conservative traditional woman. Look at you. Listen to yourself. You are, uh, just quite frankly, a trash human being. She critiqued men. She's a feminist. I'm not a feminist. Yes, and you being are. a feminist is a completely different thing from what I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen to the cope, cope, cope. This is so cringy. Like, the, she's being so fake about this, too. I just don't. Is this like, is this her personality? I couldn't stand to be around this for even five minutes. It would not be worth my time as a woman. I cannot imagine a man uh, wanting to spend time with this. If I'm going to point out and criticize some of the behaviors of modern men, that does not make me a feminist. In fact, I think it makes me pretty damn conservative no, because I'm looking at the way men are raised right now. I'm looking at the way society is raising men, the way pop culture is raising men. And I'm saying maybe there's a problem. All right. Well, maybe the problem is women like you, single mothers raising men to be betas, you know, the kind of men that you won't give the time of day to that are invisible to you. That's a very conservative thing to say. And I'm going to get to a little bit more of that. No, it isn't. Nothing about you is conservative or traditional. In a little bit as well. But I also want to talk about the responses that I got from women. And most of them conservative women. So to all you boys out there who are telling no, me not. that I'm not a conservative because I made a critique of the way modern men act. Yeah, you should know that all the girls in my DM are mostly all conservative women. And they all were saying, preach 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 what you said is true no i i highly doubt this and if so they're modern women like you you are not a conservative woman you are a modern woman you are a liberal feminist oh my goodness thank gosh someone said something because what you said is true so those are conservative women out there so for you so-called conservative men who are actually oh, some God. of you boys um, who are saying that you can't possibly be a conservative. All right, I can't do it anymore. I'm ending the video here because I just can't stand the sound of her shrill, awful voice. The, the Her combative tone. She's so angry. She's so bitter. She is so obnoxious. She's, uh, I think, quite frankly, incapable of doing any real self-reflection. Um, you know, I think that she's cute, 
I would say that. I say she's a cute girl, but as soon as she opens her mouth, there's it's so unpleasant. Why would anyone want to be around that? Why would any successful man, high value, top 10% of men, why would anyone want to be around you? There are a lot of prettier girls than her that are much more pleasant to be around, that display humility, you know, that are humble, sweet, uh, kind, caring. Um, I just, I can't, I can't for the life of me think what she actually has to offer a successful man other than a daily dick stomping. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you think I was too harsh with her, uh, let me know. I don't think I was, but I guarantee some of the boomer conservative simps are going to be in there. How dare you talk about Tommy? You're just jealous or whatever cope that they need to come up with to try to justify her disgusting and horrendous behavior. Um, but anyways, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it. Whee!